Unboxing one of my favorite toys of the whole entire planet! A new Ello Vogel! But that's not it. I'm also going to show you how to remove the little M&Ms that you see on the little M&Ms letters. You know those little M's on the M&M letters? That's what we're going to be doing. Let's go! Take a trip to a magical place. Read a book and feel the sun on your face. Learn something new and make a friend or two. Boys and Danica's dream house, all your dreams come true. Let's get to it! Beluga Bass, open the house! Whoa! <laughs> that is so cool! Hey everyone! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited you guys visit me and my room and today you might see nothing on my table but if you paid close attention you would see that beautiful LOL doll on my shelf she is so adorable let's unbox her okay so <laughs> is there something that's making it But this is great because now we have something to open. Let's take the boxes out first so we can see what's inside them. Open up. So <gasps> these shoes are the most cutest thing I've ever seen. <gasps> These are so cute. I would totally wear these. So these shoes are like, they have silver, I don't know what to call these things, but they have silver tops and the designs and the details, they're just like gold outlined and it's so pretty. I would totally wear these shoes if I had them, but let's move on to the next accessories. Now in the bigger package, Can you pass that to me? Oh my goodness. Yay, I got it! Woo, finally. Now, let's open it up to see what's inside. <gasps> O-M-G. This is such an adorable headband, and it has that little pointy thing at the top. I don't really know what to call that. But, oh my goodness, that's a lot of earrings. Here is one of the earrings. Two of them. Third earring. Fourth earring. And fifth earring. And let's see what's in the other pocket. Oh, it's just the stand thingies. If you don't know what the stand thingies are. They're kind of like the stands that holds them up so they don't fall off the stand because that would be pretty bad and I think they might get hurt. So yeah, we wouldn't want that. Anyways, now I believe it is time for the clothes. Let's get the rubber band off of these clothes and take them out. The garment bag is so adorable. It has like these blue clouds and a pink background and it even has these little golden angels. <laughs> so cute. They're like LOL doll angels. <laughs> Imagine an LOL doll Cupid. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Let's keep opening. Ooh, I feel some fur. Oh. That is adorable. Let's put that right there. Let's open this up here. Oh, this shirt, skirt, or dress shirt is so adorable. I love it so much. And I think it's time for the doll. Take her out. 
out. Yes, we did it, you guys. Oh my goodness, she is so cute. She has a cute curly bun, the little curlers in the front, and they're pink and blue. Both of one of my favorite colors. Amazing, 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 amazing. Now to pop out the brush. And we got it out. Yes, put it in the accessories. Once again, we have so many accessories. I can't even explain. Let's cut this bit. We're not cutting her shoes or her socks. That would be bad. Yay! We did it! We got her out of the package. Let's cut these two things. And let's put on her accessories. First we're going to put on the necklace. Then let's Clip on the earrings. Ah. There we go, one on, one more to go. Now, let's get her headband on. Hmm, this might be a little hard to get on, but we can do Oh, I think it goes like that. That's some cuteness right there. Then, let's get her shoes on. Obviously, we need the shoes. Like, who doesn't love shoes and there we go the adorbs shoes are on so amazing let's pop her on the stand so we can see just how gorgeous she is <laughs> wow she is looking so fab let's put on her jacket so she looks even more fab Amazingly beautiful once again. And if you guys didn't see the back already. I love how this is just so adorable. Like the shoes. I kind of mix and match them up so that it wouldn't like match because pink is on the blue side and blue is on the pink side. So I kind of mix and match them up. But yeah, they are so adorable. I just love how they mix matchy. I feel like pink and blue are the perfect pair. I love pink and blue together so much. And I hope you guys love this doll as much as I did because wow, I love her till the end of the world. She's so cool. I wonder who my beautiful doll is gonna make friends with on my toy shelf. What was that? Oh, Juju, she's talking. Let's listen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a great idea, Juju. She should definitely make friends with our Candy Kid stall. I named my Candy Kid Unigirl, so I'm pretty sure they'll get along so well, I can't even imagine. Let's put her on my show. Next to Miss Candy Kid, AKA Unigirl. What should our LOL doll, well, OMG doll's name be? I think I should name her Sweet because she looks sweet like you can definitely eat her. She also looks kind, like the sweet kind. And she definitely looks like she, she could use a sweet right now. Hmm. I'm gonna go get some sweet treats and I'll see you guys. How gorgeous was my new LOL doll. Now let's go to my science lab to remove those little M and M letters. Beluga bass, open the house. Whoa! <laughs> that is so cool. Welcome to my <laughs> science lab. Today we're going to do a trick with M and M's experiment to be more scientific. But which one? Because I love M and M's. They're amazing. See? Mm. So good. See? Mmm. Are you wondering why my fingers look like this? And my hands? Well, it's because of the M&M's. I've been eating a bit too much. I'm having a hard time thinking of what trick I should do with the M&M's. Let's see what my thinking ass has to say about this. Well, 
Whoa. Oh my god. Ideas, ideas everywhere. This is so cool. I have the idea that I can do with the M&M's. Hmm, let's see. Thanks, Thinking Cap. I know exactly what experiment I'm going to do. The floating end experiment. What you're going to need is M&M's color and number of your choice. And you're going to need some warm water. First, we're going to put the M&M's inside the warm water. Make sure the ends are facing up. Like that. Don't be afraid to put the um, your fingers in the water because you're not going to drink this afterwards. At least I hope you're not. And shake off all the water because it might get a little bit wet. Don't know if it's water. So. <laughs> now we are going to wait a couple of minutes for the M's on the M&M's to float up to the top of the water. Do you know why this happens? Because the color dissolves in the water and that is what's holding the M's down. So then eventually when the color, the color dissolves, when all the color dissolves, all the M's will come floating up to the top and you can literally pick them up with your fingers. I'll show you that afterwards. For now, let's watch this magic happen. Oh, I can see some going up already. Wow, this is so cool. Do you guys see the color moving around in the at the bottom of the cup? That is because all the color is dissolving and it's making a beautiful pattern. Wow. Oh, oh what came up? Oh my gosh. Whoa. Guys, do you see the edible paper M on my finger? That is so cool. Mm, it tastes like nothing because it's edible paper. Of course, why would it taste like something? Especially when it's been in water for a few minutes. Wow, another one came up. Guys, this is so cool. Mm, nothing. Air. Guys, this M&M trick was so good and the M&Ms were even better. You guys are going to love this trick. I know that so much and this little M&M will taste like everything is nothing. Make sure you don't eat too many M&Ms and leave a comment down below how your experiment worked and tag me on a picture on Instagram. I would love to see how yours looked. Do you guys want to check out another room in my dream house? Let's do this! I hope you guys loved and enjoyed this week's episode. Dream house. Oh.